Biford Dolphin is a semi-submersible column-stabilized drilling rig, operated by Dolphin Drilling. On Saturday, November 5, 1983 at 4 a.m., while drilling in the Frigg gas field in the Norwegian sector of the North Sea, four divers were in a diving chamber system on the rig's deck, that was connected by a trunk to a diving bell. The divers were Edwin Arthur Coward, a 35-year-old British man, Roy Lucas, 38, and also British, Bjorn Bergerson, 29, and Truls Hellebeck, 34, were both Norwegian. They were assisted by two dive tenders, William Brown Crammond and Martin Andrew Saunders. The chamber was pressurized at nine atmospheres, when Hellebeck was about to open the door. Suddenly, the chamber explosively decompressed to one atmosphere, resulting in tragedy. One of the tenders, 32-year-old William Crammond of Great Britain, and all four of the divers were killed instantly. The other tender, Saunders, was severely injured. Normally, the following procedure would occur, prior to opening the door. First, close the bell door. Second, the diving supervisor would then slightly increase the bell pressure to seal this door tightly. Then close the door between the trunk and chamber one. Slowly depressurize the trunk to one atmosphere. And finally, open the clamp to separate the bell from the chamber system. The first two steps had been completed when for an unknown reason, Crammond opened the clamp before diver 4, Helovic, could close the door to the chamber. This resulted in the explosive decompression of the unsealed chamber. Air rushed out of the chamber with tremendous force, jamming the interior trunk door, and pushing the bell away, striking the two tenders. Crammond was killed while Saunders was severely injured. The committee investigating the accident concluded, that it was caused by human error on the part of the dive tender who opened the clamp. It is not clear whether the tender who opened the clamp before the trunk was depressurized, did so by order of his supervisor, on his own initiative, or because of miscommunication. At the time, the only communication the tenders on the outside of the chamber system had, was through a bullhorn attached to the wall's surface. With heavy noise from the rig and sea, it was hard to hear what was going on. Fatigue from many long hours of work also took its toll among the divers, who often worked 16-hour shifts. The gruesome details can be described as follows. Diver D4 was shot out through the small jammed hatch door opening, and was torn to pieces. Subsequent investigation by forensic pathologists determined D4 was exposed to the highest pressure gradient, violently exploded, due to the rapid and massive expansion of internal gases. All of his thoracic and abdominal organs, and even his spine were ejected, as were all of his limbs. Simultaneously, his remains were expelled through the narrow trunk opening left by the jammed chamber door, less than 60 centimeters in diameter. Fragments of his body were found scattered about the rig. His death was most likely instantaneous and painless. Later investigations into this tragedy, pointed to faulty equipment, fatigue, and a lack of a fail-safe mechanism, that would have prevented the chamber from being opened while under pressure. Safety measures have been put in place, so that a similar incident never happens again. Please like and subscribe to receive more updates from Know All Ninjas.